How about you? Do you want to use this room? But you have a gigantic room for yourself. <laughs> Do you need this room? <laughs> Gigantic room, yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, so one of these rooms is actually going to be a photography studio, a kind of filming, video, diorama. And how much time will you be spending in my gym? Um, I hope like every day. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Life in Japan with the Miyazaki Man. Hello YouTube, it's the Miyazaki Man Sai here, level four fan in Japan. Finally, the dream house is coming to fruition. Next year, it will finally be built. I've got some cool 3D renditions of how it could potentially look as well. I'm finally gonna get an opportunity to organize all of my favorite things. Really looking forward to it. It's like my Lapland and the Ark Knights collection. Crotch grabbing Ken. My treasured Liverpool badges. My Genzo Sukuden badges. My giant atelier official cutouts. Living up to my name as the War Scroll Warlord, baby. The Tapestry Templar. And miscellaneous other goodies as well. So, this is actually a to scale foam cut handmade representation of the floor plan that we've provisionally gone with. Looky, looky. And I'm going to be walking you through each design decision in every single room. Oh wait, look, is that a gym? Help us decide what we need. Lots and lots of space for the kids to play. We can do some sports as well, some football, some field hockey, some rugby, have a nice swimming pool, probably a padding pool in all honesty. Trampoline, barbecue. Since I've never owned a house before, I've never had one of these barbecues, but this multi-leveled barbecue layer, doing the meat at the bottom, vegetables at the top, looks really appealing to me. And my dad does brilliant Vietnamese barbecue as well. So yeah, give me recommendations below on what kind of barbecue I need. Nice little wooden bay here when you're coming out. An entrance to the house here. Probably be facing this way from the road. Windows from my office. The demolition of the current plot is finally underway, so things are finally starting to happen and we can't wait. And when you walk into the entrance, and speak of entrances, my goodness, the catalogue has like 50, 60 different types of doors. We visited this company called Lixo and got some printouts. Look at that lovely door and wall. How much is that? 590,000 yen? What is that? 3,000 quid? Ay caramba! What about this? Oh, it's got a window. It's almost double. 2,000 quid more for a window. Masuka. Yeah, you can just pull them out and have a look. Different designs. Cheaper. Yeah. This is our new door from Lixil. <laughs> Powerhouse. Whoa, boss. Looks like a toilet. Really nice, very cushy. You can open it up with this panel, you can slide it, you can open it up. Really cool. Different uh, locking mechanisms as well. You can actually use your phone on your app. You've got this little keychain button. You've got the traditional keys as well. There's even this type of key. If you walk closer to it, the door will sense it and open it automatically. Is that secure? I don't know. <laughs> You can take the second floor out. So when you first come into a house, this is a kind of landing area here, the entrance way. We've got a shoe right here. We're thinking of putting a sink so you can wash your hands as soon as you come in, a little bit luxurious, keep hygienic and clean. First thing you see, my gym. This is gonna be properly kitted out. This is gonna have a proper workbench area. It's gonna be a squat rack. It's gonna be an organizational desk. It's gonna have all my whey protein, my creatine, glutamine, all my supplements as well. Pull up bar, not sure about the cardio. I can do cardio outside, right? Think about it, insanity training, some TV monitor hooked on the wall. Definitely free weights. Free weights is the way to go. Not about a Smith machine and expensive as well. Squat rack, deadlift, bench press. It's all you need really. Here's some options I'm looking at. So I really like the idea of these kind of muscle rack systems, these power cages. I can do my squats in there, bench. It's a pulley system, maybe a lat pull down. Um, never had one of these before, to be honest. So um, yeah, I'd really appreciate some opinions of anyone who's worked with any of these before in a home gym. You know, something like this. Uh, I know it's a Smith machine, but there's enough bars here to do uh, free weight squats as well. Lat pull downs, uh, all the gizmos and, and gadgets all looking pretty good. So, you know, your standard cage, I could probably go go and do one of these as well. But uh, yeah, let me know in opinions below. And then you have a box room, a box room here to kind of store some of your goodies as well for outdoors. So, so tell me about this box room here. When you first go into the house, there's this big box room alongside of the house. What are we gonna do there? 
Mm, I think like、uh, you can store like a pusher and then a、uh, lot of like the shoes that、uh, you're not wearing as well. Because like I don't have so much shoes, but、uh, this guy has so much collection and then so much shoes. So I think this space is not enough for him as well. <laughs> <laughs> I like my shoes. <laughs> could be all your miscellaneous sports equipment, could be pusher, pram, stroller, hats, scarves, outdoor stuff. So this here is going to be Mai's room and the kids' room. What are you looking forward to designing in here? Pam, I'm gonna show you.、Uh, yes, so、uh, I think like the,、uh, me and then、uh, two kids is gonna sleep in, in this room. And then whenever like the, they fight in the living room, maybe Eito can come here and then he can like the private room as well. His own space. Yeah, his own space. <laughs> <laughs> He's a very serious man. <laughs> And seriously good footballer too. <laughs> yeah, true. So, what are you looking forward to about this kitchen?、Uh, this kitchen is very big, and then actually, like the dining is just right next to the kitchen as well. Yeah, very, very convenient. And you like you like this kind of LDK where the kitchen is attached to the living room, isn't it? Yeah, so whenever like the、uh, kids is playing, and then I can cook or I can do the、uh, dishes as well. So, very good for like that mom. Absolutely,、mm-hmm. and when the Liverpool match is on, she can keep an eye out on the TV. Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> Another Liverpool win! Yay! And there's big bay windows here at the front that come into our garden as well. This is the first time I've had these kind of bay windows looking into the garden. This should be really beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, it's very big, and then、uh, when the summertime, you can get like a lot of sun. I think like this, the whole living room. Can be like very bright as well. And this bit over here is actually very unique to Japan. So they they have this kind of concept of this、um, wash basin area and then it goes into the bathroom. So the kind of laundry room and the bathroom is connected. This is very Japanese, isn't it?、Mm, yeah, I think so. And how much time will you be spending in my gym?、Um, I hope like every day. Oh, yeah! <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 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 And you'll notice in the corner here it says WIC walk in wardrobe. Ooh la la, how luxurious! <laughs> so you can organize by person and then、uh, yeah, very convenient. <laughs> <laughs> can I use that walk in wardrobe?、Mm, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. LDK here. LDK stands for living room, dining room, kitchen. It's all combined, and that way when Mai does the cooking, she can see the kids playing around the living room as well. We're looking at sofas at the moment. There's really some cushy、uh, leather sofas. There's some Italian branded leather as well that looks really, really nice. It's quite expensive. I might have to sell a few figurines to get that. Yeah, this is it. This is the one. But yes, mate, he's this low, luxurious leather sofa was the one I wanted. So cushy, so lush, almost two grand. My goodness, that's expensive. See what can be done. I want it. When you're looking at it, this wall here constitutes the, the kind of wall where the TV will be mounted on. So we're going to need a wall bracket. And on the other side of that, you've actually got two storage compartments for all of the kids' toys and a little walkway. You've got two doors here one, two. They're open kind of doorways where you can go in behind a little corridor. This corridor here leads to the toilet, my and the kids' room initially, but this will ultimately be Mai's room, the second biggest bedroom in the house, and laundry room, laundry wet room here. So you actually go into the laundry wet room in Japan before you access the bathroom. That's just the way it's designed. And here you have the walk in wardrobe for the family. The family walk in wardrobe, predominantly, it'll be my, Eito, and Mia's because I've got my own walk in wardrobe upstairs. You're going to see that. Pantry room in between, so from the kitchen to walk in wardrobe. We've got a little study desk. You'll stay corner here as well. So you've got the dining table here from the food, but if you want to go away from the main living room area, you can chill here with your own monitor. I'm going to put some USB C ports into the wall, fast charging, the fastest ones for Panasonic, just released this year. And the study corner is definitely a nice touch next to the kitchen and dining room table, but this USB C port came out from Panasonic, the fastest one in the world in terms of charging your devices. I'm a man of tech, gotta have it. But what is that price? It's like nearly 150 quid, my goodness. I need at least five of these. <laughs> And you have a spare monitor here if you want to plug in your laptop or device or whatever. So, just rolling back to the ground floor, first floor for a second here. Our living room, the LDK kitchen, is 34.2 subo. So, they use this measurement in Japan called subo. Converted to meters squared, our living room, dining room, kitchen is roughly 113 square meters for anyone who, who knows meters squared. Pretty big. 
And in terms of kitchen design, I'm really in love with this authentic Classo feel. It's one of the pricier options, but let's see what we can do. We'll probably go with Classo. <laughs> because I love my gadgets, I need my Ninja Air Cooker, my Air Fryer, my Slow Cooker, my Food Processor, blending all that whey protein and whatnot, cooking some authentic roast crispy pork, Chinatown roast duck chassis, you name it. Japan doesn't actually do full size ovens. They do these weird hybrid microwave oven thingy majiggies that just won't do. I got one by the way. And this, this class allows you to build it in the compartment. So all gravy, baby. Now I want to focus on the bathroom and this was non-negotiable. I absolutely had to have this thing called Sinla. <laughs> Water like water for now. It massages your back, man, with different pressure pumps. Oh. My man Ato approves. And finally, stairs up to heaven. My area of the house. And now we go to my favorite part of the house. So you go upstairs and the first room you see is my massive gargantuan office, aka bedroom, aka man cave. This says here, 15.7 subo. Now subo is a Japanese measurement. That equates around 52 meters squared. <laughs> Custom tatami mat, his straw tatami, kimochi, kimochi, lovely. Surface here is very zen, a good reading area. I might put a floor chair down here custom display kit here. Now they've given me free reign to design this massive custom display piece to hold all of my weeby goodies, resin statues, anime figures, miscellaneous goodies. It can be glass, resin, plastic, metal. The world is my oyster with lights. It's gonna be expensive though. So yeah, I'm gonna keep it considerate, but let me know what kind of design I should go with because ultimately it's a four meter across and two and a half meters upwards shelf single custom display unit that should be my pride and glory for all my videos so yeah here's my idea so far <laughs> yeah let me know in the comments below any suggestions because as in my room up here i've got my own walk-in wardrobe baby oh yes and not only that i've got a balcony with a glass panel at the front so i can see into the uh into the garden and see what everyone's doing and also there's a catwalk here which lets me look and peek What's for dinner? Look at the kids. What this missus is up to. Nice, nice space up here for me. How about you? What are you going to do about these two rooms, these two bedrooms while the kids are young? And I'd like to take a moment to uh, point out that my room and office is strategically the furthest placed away from my room and where the kids will currently stay so I can make all the noise I want. No, just kidding. Actually, no, it's true. I work late at nights. I work UK time, so yeah. Needs to be far away. Uh, I think like whoever wants to visit, they can use as a guest room as well. And then also, um, the kids have so many toys, so I think like I'm gonna put all the toys here for first and then organize uh, which toy they want to play or a little bit like the store in this room as well. How about you? Do you want to use this room? But you have a gigantic room for yourself. <laughs> Do you need this room? <laughs> gigantic room yeah <laughs> um, so one of these rooms is actually going to be a photography studio a kind of filming a video diorama um, portrait photography as well I'm really keen on taking nice pictures of, of the lovely model here um, of, you know, <laughs> of, of the kids as well um, and yeah the other room as well is going to be a guest room for kind of family and friends and also my YouTube buddies and also the most loyal supporters come down to Miyazaki it's the honeymoon spot of Japan if you want to spend some uh, time with the Miyazaki man in that lovely little condo then come join us <laughs> <laughs> Until next time guys, live for fun in Japan, the Miyazaki Man Sai. My son is <laughs> Peace. Peace. Miyazaki Man Ichiban. My son Ichiban. Ciao. Help. Miyazaki man ichiban de show, isn't that right all my buddies? Mind me, shoo shoo shoo. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed that video, please remember to hit the like button. It really helps me beat the algorithm, get the video seen, helps the channel grow as well. Thank you so much for subscribing. All the comments mean the world to me. Please let me know what you think of the uh, the house design as it is right now, but still open to change. Any recommendations, anything that you think would make our house, our dream house that much better, please let me know in the comments below can't wait 2024 it's estimated to be built dream come true thank you once again for watching the video for all your loyal support and your comments actually mean the world to me and my as well until next time guys take it easy man mountain indoor <laughs>